Hello, we are going to get started today on our bellies. So come lay down on your belly. You're gonna put your forehead on the top of your hands. Your elbows come out wide. You can lift your right leg and pull it back. Lift your left leg and pull it back just to open up your spine. And you're gonna place your forehead on your hands. Just take some grounding breaths. Start to get into your practice. Be here on the mat. You can feel the earth holding you up. Take a deep inhale through your nose. And a slow exhale out your nose. You can do that a few times at your pace. Inhale. Exhale, let it go. Pay attention to your belly breathing. Inhale. Exhale, let it go. Inhale. And exhale, let it go. do a couple more and take an inhale and exhale it out inhale and as you exhale you're gonna come into a sphinx pose so you're gonna place your forearms on the mat and you're gonna bend your right leg, capture your foot with your right hand, and gaze over your right shoulder. We're still getting started, so you might feel a little tight here. But on each exhale, try to pull your foot even closer to your glutes. Push into your left arm to get your shoulder away from your ear. Release your right leg, come back into Sphinx Pose for a reset. Now bend your left leg, capture your left foot with your left hand, gaze over your left shoulder, and just like the other side, you're gonna push into your right forearm to get your shoulder away from your ear. And on each exhale, try to get that foot even closer to your glute. So breathe here, come back into Sphinx Pose for another reset, take a breath, curl your toes under, push up into a high plank position, push your hands into the mat to roll your back, and exhale, push your hips up for a downward facing dog. So equal weight in both palms. If you can, get your heels to the mat. If not, that's okay. You're gonna lift your toes on your inhale. Exhale, hover your knees. Inhale, plank position. Exhale, down dog. Let's do that a few times. Your inhale, lift your toes. Exhale, hover your knees. Inhale, plank position, so strong. Exhale, down dog. Really exaggerate this motion. Inhale, lift your toes. Exhale, hover your knees. Inhale, down dog. Or inhale, plank position, exhale, down dog. Inhale, lift your toes. Exhale, hover your knees. Inhale, plank position. Exhale, down dog. You just have one more here. Inhale, lift your toes. Exhale, hover your knees. Inhale, plank. So, so strong. Exhale, downward facing dog. Really press into the mat. Get your chest to your legs if you can. Start to walk to the front of your space. Inhale, halfway lift. Your gaze is shifted to the floor. Exhale, forward fold. It's still early for this, so just be happy with where you're at. On your inhale, you're gonna slowly rise up. The last thing to come up is your head. 
and we are going to take a balancing posture here. So place more weight into your left foot, your right knee comes up, toe is flexed, your hands are by your side, palms facing forward. You're gonna round down and grab the arch of your right foot, bring your chin into your chest and look down. You can either stay here and press your right foot into your hands to get a nice stretch in your back. Otherwise, for the full pose, you're gonna straighten that right leg, stay strong in your left leg as well. Toe is flexed, and if you can, bring your forehead to the knee. This is a difficult posture. If you come out, just come right back in. You have time. Make sure you're breathing. Deep inhales. Deep exhales. And then come out of it. Bring both feet to the mat. Stand up. Give yourself a little back bend just to reset. Come back. Now we are going to do the other side. So take a deep breath here. Inhale. And bring your left knee up. Toe is flexed. Your weight is in your right foot. Palms are out facing forward. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, you're going to roll down, grab the arch of your left foot, bring your chin into your chest, gaze down at the floor, stay strong in that right leg. You can press your left foot into your palms to get another stretch in your back. If you want to continue the pose, you're going to straighten that left leg, toe is flexed, and if you can, bring your forehead to your knee. Like I said, this is balancing, it is difficult. So if and when you come out, you can just hop right back in. Just try to stay with your breath. You're gonna bring that left foot back down, slowly rise up, give yourself another loving back bend, maybe gaze towards the ceiling. Exhale all your breath, bring your hands to heart center. Just take a grounding breath here. Let it go. Inhale, rise up, mountain pose, arms by your ear, pinky fingers in. Exhale, dive deep, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, gaze is shifted down. Exhale, plank position. This is some strength training, so stay with me. You're in a plank, you're pushing your palms into the mat. Stay strong in your legs. Put more weight in your left hand. Your right arm rises up. Gaze towards the ceiling if you can. Stay strong in that leg. Lift your hips up if you can. We're only here for a couple breaths. You can do it. Come back into a plank position. Don't drop just yet. We're going to do the other side. Take an inhale. Put more weight in your right hand. Lift your left arm high to the sky. If you can, shift your gaze up towards the ceiling. Keep your hips lifted high. Stay strong in that right arm. Keep breathing. Engage your core. We're gonna come back into a plank position. Hold it for a second and push it up into a downward facing dog. This should feel nice and good on your back. Try to press your chest into your thighs. From here, lift your right leg high for three-legged dog. Toes are flexed. Bump your right hip down. Lift your heel even higher towards the ceiling. And exhale is low lunge. On your inhale, you're going to rise up into dancing crescent. So straighten both legs, arms come above your head. Try to keep your hips and your shoulders square to the front of your space and your arms by your ears or even behind your ears. And then lunge down, cactus your arms and gaze up. We're gonna do that a few times. So inhale, dancing crescent, straighten your legs, straighten your arms. Exhale, cactus your arms and lunge down. Inhale, dancing crescent. Exhale, lunge down. Just a couple more. Inhale, dancing crescent. Exhale, lunge, last one. Inhale, dancing crescent. And exhale, lunge. On your inhale, you're gonna come up into a dancing crescent. 
and exhale is warrior two. Pivot your front foot towards the short edge of your mat, your back foot towards the long edge of your mat. Tee out your arms and gaze over your fingertips. Straighten both legs, inhale, reverse triangle. Lift your right arm up by your ear. Stretch, stretch, stretch. And exhale is extended side angle. You're gonna re-bend that right leg and bring your arms to six and 12. If that feels comfortable, your left arm might even come over your ear. Come down into a low lunge. Lift that right leg up into a three-legged dog and Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, lift your hips up into a downward facing dog. We'll do the other side now. You're gonna inhale your left leg high, toe is flexed, bump your left hip down, really reach that heel even higher towards the ceiling, equal weight in both hands. Exhale is low lunge. Just stay here for a couple breaths, get comfortable on this side in your hips. Inhale, dancing crescent. So your legs come straight, your arms are straight above your head. Square your shoulders and hips towards the front of your space. You might have to bump your left hip back. And exhale, lunge down, cactus out your arms, maybe even gaze towards the ceiling. And we'll do that a couple times. So inhale, dancing crescent. Exhale, lunge down. Inhale, dancing crescent. Really reach, reach high towards the sky. And exhale, get as low as you can. Lunge down. Inhale, dancing crescent. Exhale, lunge. You just have one more. Inhale, dancing crescent. And exhale, lunge down. Inhale, rise up, dancing crescent. And exhale is warrior two. Left toes are facing the short edge of your mat. Right toes are facing the long edge. You're bending deep into that left leg. Arms are teed out. Your gaze is over your fingertips. Straighten both legs. Inhale, reverse triangle. Your left arm comes by your ear. Really reach, reach, reach. Get a nice stretch. And exhale, extended side angle. Bend your left knee. Your right arm comes either up or over your ear. Gaze high towards the ceiling if you can. Come into a low lunge, and then you're gonna sweep that left foot up into a three-legged dog. Push your weight forward, bend your arms. Inhale, upward facing dog, gaze high towards the ceiling. And exhale, lift your hips up into a downward facing dog. We'll do both sides, breath to movement. You're gonna inhale your right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, dancing crescent. And we're gonna do just one. Exhale, lunge down. Inhale, dancing crescent. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, low lunge. And you're gonna sweep that right leg up. For three-legged dog, bend your arms. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, lift your hips high for downward facing dog. The other side now, lift your left leg high for three-legged dog. And exhale, low lunge. Inhale, dancing crescent. Exhale, lunge down just once. Inhale, dancing crescent. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse triangle, really reach, 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 get the stretch here. And exhale, bend your knee, extended side angle. On your inhale, you're gonna come into a low lunge position. Sweep that left leg up high, three-legged dog. Push your weight forward, bend your arms. Inhale, up dog. And exhale is downward facing dog. Take a breath here. You're gonna jump or step to the top of your space. Slowly lower down onto your back for final Shavasana. You're gonna let your legs come out long, your arms come by your side. You might create a little shelf for your heart with your shoulders by arching your upper back just slightly. Tuck your chin into your chest to elongate your neck. 
and try to relax here. Feel the earth holding you. Just find some deep grounding breaths. You won't be here for too long. Just breathe and I will tell you when it's time to come out. Now you're gonna lift your arms above your head. Roll onto your left or right shoulder for fetal position. You're gonna push into the mat. Find a comfortable seated position. Bring your hands to heart center. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. To the light in all things, namaste. If you enjoy this video, please like, share, and subscribe.